Hi there, my name is Hope Jumbill. I'm the LGBTQ plus project lead for the Edmonton Federation of Community Leagues. And today I'll be hosting a quick pop-up workshop on preferred pronouns and names. What are preferred names and pronouns? Simply put, a preferred pronoun are pronouns someone has chosen to refer to themselves. Common examples of these preferred pronouns are he and him, she, her, and they, them. There are more past that, but these are the three most common. Two important things to note about preferred pronouns, never refer to a person as it, or never refer to a person as he, she. These are very offensive and generally considered quite derogatory and are slurs. Also, as well, Using they, them may sound weird referring to someone, just an individual person, but it's actually not grammatically incorrect and it's very acceptable to use. A preferred name is very similar. It is a name someone has chosen to refer to themselves or to have to be referred to as. Someone's preferred pronouns or preferred names may actually be different than their legal name, and often is the case. When this is the case, the correct thing to do is to refer to them by their preferred name or pronoun. Someone may have a preferred name or preferred pronoun because they may be trans or non-binary. This means what they identify as, whether they feel they're a man, a woman, uh, non-binary, this does not line up with what's been assigned to them or what people think they are. Thus, they go by a different set of names or pronouns. Why is it important to use them? It's really a matter of respect. It's trusting the person that what they've chosen is valid, that, they believe, that you believe them, that it's important to you, that you respect who they are and what they identify. It's a matter of oppression. It's a matter of oppression because it's a privilege to not worry about which pronouns someone may ascribe to you based on what they think their gen your gender is. By having this fit privilege and still failing to respect someone's gender identity through the use of their preference, this becomes oppressive and very disrespectful. It's also a matter of safety and health. By not using someone's pronouns or preferred names, someone can feel very disrespected, invalidated, dismissed, alienated, or dysphoric. Experiencing these things, and experience these things often, can lead to a high risk and increase of mental health problems, mental illness, and can severely affect someone. Specifically noted effects of this constant validation can be increased risks of depression and suicide. Also by not using someone's preferred names or pronouns, it can unequivocally damage the trust that exists between individuals and damage the interpersonal relationship that exists there. So what do you do if you don't know someone's pronouns, preferred pronouns or name, or if you mess up? If you don't know someone's preferred name or pronouns, the best way to find that out is simply to ask, but do so in a respectful way. An example of how to do this would be, hi there, what are your pronouns do you prefer? Or, what pronouns do you use? If you mess up and misgender someone or call them by the wrong name, that's okay, it happens, slip ups happen. What you should do in this situation is you should apologize quickly sincerely, privately or quietly, and then simply move on. In fact, if you apologize in a big extravagant way or repeat over and over again, or almost too sincere or too emotional, this can actually create a very uncomfortable situation for the person you're apologizing to and may put them in an awkward social situation. So again, apologize quickly, sincerely, privately, and then move on. The most important part of this whole thing is a commitment to trying to improve and try to consistently use those preferred names and those preferred pronouns. It's good if you're improving and keep working on that. I hope this quick workshop has been informative and that you understand the importance of using preferred names and preferred pronouns. Have a good day.